At 632 people are killed and more than 100 hurt when an Amtrak train en route to Miami collides with a freight train in South Carolina. The two people who died were Amtrak employees and three of the injured are in serious or critical condition. CBS 4's Chris Van Cleve has much more now from the scene of this crash. Early indications are Amtrak train 91 was traveling at about 59 miles per hour when it hit a freight train early this morning near Columbia, South Carolina. On board the New York to Miami train were nearly 150 passengers and crew. The 54-year-old engineer Michael Kempf of Savannah, Georgia and 36-year-old conductor Mike Sella of Orange Park, Florida were both killed when the lead locomotive and some of the passenger cars derailed. Margaret Fisher is the Lexington County coroner. We should have had a lot more casualties, but we did. 116 people were taken to area hospitals with a range of injuries. The CSX was on the, the, the track that it was supposed to be on. And that appears to be a, a loading track. The National Transportation Safety Board is now on scene to investigate the crash. That switch was, as they say in the railroad industry, lined and locked, which basically means it was a lined, a lined. For the trains coming down this way to be diverted into the siding. Investigators remain here on the tracks. The NTSB was able to get its hands on the forward facing camera inside the Amtrak locomotive. That video is being sent to Washington to be analyzed. Take a look at the train cars. You can see the force of this collision knocked them completely off the tracks. This is the third fatal Amtrak crash that the NTSB has been investigating since December. Chris Van Cleve, CBS News, West Columbia, South Carolina. And stay with CBS 4 News for the very latest on this accident. Once the people on board that train finally arrive here in Miami, we do hope to hear their first-hand accounts of what happened.